and I saw it uh, just this Thursday uh, during the, the the Christmas break. Uh, and it's really, an, I also saw Death of a Salesman. I was there. You were when there. I, I was there that night, yes. Oh my God. Lucky we me. We talked about this earlier in the show. Uh, what happened? Actually, you're in Canada. Um, and and um, Vicky, by the way. Hi, Vicky. Your, your, Vicky is from, are you coming from Chicago tonight, Vicky? Un unmute yourself, dear. Unmute. Yeah, there you go. Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Welcome, okay, Vicky. Now. Welcome, Vicky Quaddy. Yeah, somebody, I'm actually at a party, and they let me use the spare bedroom to sit down uh. and uh, take this call. There's about 50 people out here. Oh, um, gosh. We, we won't keep you very long, but, but we want nice. you to be, be part of this. But, but no, so some crazy person started talking during yeah, the show? Um, well, I, in the second act, uh, we're, we're sitting there, and then I, we hear this woman screaming no no i'm not leaving i'm not leaving if i can't see the show nobody else can yeah put me out no. put me out i dare you really How and what happened? they brought the lights up she went down to the aisle and was addressing wendell pierce on the stage who plays willie loman and he was trying to reason with her evidently during the first act she had been i i don't know what happened we don't know what happened i don't know what happened but to prompt this woman to lose her mind she was triggered by something i don't know but evidently she was talking loudly during the first act i was far away from her so i didn't hear it and she was making noise during the first act and some people complained and it looked as what? if she was leaving at the intermission and then she started to come back in the people said no you can't come in you're you're, you're making too much noise you're disturbing people and that's when she lost it and then they had to call the police. The, the lights came. They stopped the no. show. They had to call the police. And they and she, after much arguing, you know, she she they took her, you know, not in handcuffs or anything, but they led her away. And she, we could still hear her screaming from the lobby. So I don't how know. How old was how old was this woman, uh, David? She looked um, in her forties. She looked, you know, middle aged. What do you what do you, what do you well make of it? She's having a psychotic episode. Maybe she was well dressed. She was in the mink. Uh, her husband was with her. She did not look like a cra oh. she didn't look like a crazy person. So I don't know. you know, yeah, yeah, if they had, had a ruler, yeah. if somebody on stage had had a ruler, that would have <laughs> gone a very different way. And I, when I saw different. when I saw late night catechism, that's how they handled unruly audience members. That's right. Okay. You didn't realize I that Vicky is the co-creator of late night catechism. For for those who don't know who Vicky Quaggy yeah. is. Um, you know, because we have people watching who may not watch the show, sure. or know. Sure. but Vicky and Mary Pat Donovan created Late Night Catechism. Uh, it's right. playing in Chicago along with, well, well we, just did the, we just finished the last Christmas right. bingo was last night. I did that show and right in the middle of the show, oh, no. in the middle of the show, yeah. five drunken women in the second row shouted out, what parish were you born in? Why'd you go to school? I thought, oh no, oh no. Well, it, so it obviously it triggered it triggered memories for them. No, I no answered, them. I answered them, and I thought, fine, you know, I'll try to deal with this. But they were really drunk. <laughs> oh well, drunkenness will never uh, help yeah. the rational yeah. debate. I mean, you should have gone okay. the, the real Catholic as, as Cardinal Ratzenberger. Would, 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 would tell you, uh, you may rest in peace sexually and that would have taken care of the whole thing oh, yeah right, right. <laughs> anyway, oh, i've got to start cycling some people so moisha absolutely let me uh thank you so much for being with us in the day bro any shout outs to anybody for a happy new year and stuff or uh dave i want to shout out to you i want to thank you for including me in your life and in your mishugas i love it I love the Mishugas. Rabbi Saul Solomon is is a, is an alter ego for you, and also I can relate. I can relate. And Vicky, it was wonderful meeting you. And my I sure. I, I want you to know that your book is is in my queue for reading. Okay. Excellent. What is the name Excellent. of the book, Vicky? What the, the name of that book it's is called it? Close Encounters of a Chicago Kind. Close Encounters of the Chicago Close Encounters. And, and don't you have any nice words for David Sheward, uh, Moshe Denver? Do you yes, of question? course I do. David, you are one of the most intelligent people Thank I've you. ever competed against. Thank you. <laughs> How are you? Moshe, thank you very thank much. You so much. Happy, New Year, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happiness. Yeah, take care of everybody. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. So, um, Vicky, I want to get to you because I, you're at a party and I want to let you, you know, go. So, no, no, so I'm behind closed doors. What are you looking forward to most in 2023? 
Oh, more people in the audience. I want people to continue to feel. Our, we've had several shows that were sellouts, and that's uh, good. And I've traveled a lot, and a lot of those audiences were pretty, pretty good size audiences. So I just want people to feel more comfortable, continue yeah. to get out, you know. Uh, and and a lot of people, um, I think, are are concerned about um, the cost COVID. of theater, but you don't oh. have to spend that much money. Yeah. Then COVID too, yes. But I've heard people say, you know, well, I, I, my budget is limited. Well, you know, there's a lot of good theater out there that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. So, you know, well, I, have people, you know I, I tell them, do you watch, do you listen to Dave's Gone By? And it's like, oh, it's too expensive. And I was like, it, it's free. It's still too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just, I just don't get that. Vicky Quaggy, most, most happy and healthy and good new year with lots more theater for you. Thank you. Lots Thank you. More and I'm going to be in Maryland in uh, in February. Really? Okay. Yes, yeah, I'm doing a show I'm in gonna... Maryland. Yeah. I'll send um, you the info. Please, please, please. And we'll, I will. We'll see you in person. That'd be amazing. Um, yeah, I'll maybe. work in some extra days. And, and by nunsforfun.com for all the things. Nuns for fun. Nuns, nuns, the number for fun.com. Lungsforfun.com. Thank you, Vicki. Happy New Year to you. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Thank you, David. Take okay. care.